Hello awesome people! Welcome back to our channel! Today, we are diving deep into the electrifying world of scooter motors. Let's get started! Ever wondered what gives your electric scooter that zip and zoom? It's all about the motor, and today, we are breaking it down for you. Most electric scooters come equipped with hub motors. These are nestled right inside the scooter's wheel hub. They have the modern marvels that make your scooter silent yet powerful, ensuring a smooth ride with minimum power loss. Now, hub motors can be geared or gearless. Geared hub motors have a special gear system, giving them an edge in power, especially uphill. But they might need a bit more maintenance. Gearless hub motors on the other hand, are straightforward, efficient and easier on the pocket when it comes to upkeep. The motor world often debates between brushed versus brushless motors. Here's the scoop. Brushless motors are the jumps. They are efficient, quieter and deliver more power for the same battery juice. Ever notice numbers like 250 watts or 1000 watts on your scooter? That's its power rating. It determines how fast and how far your scooter can go. The higher the number, the more room you get. Another thing you may notice on scooter spec sheets is real power and peak power. In short, real power is the power actually consumed by the motor. Peak power refers to what is the maximum power that the motor can sustain for a short time. Another important term is torque. It refers to a motor's twisting force. Torque is important for a scooter's acceleration and hill climb. Now, let's talk configurations. Single motor or dual motor. Single motor scooters are perfect for those leisurely rides. Single motor scooters are a more budget-friendly option and can still provide enough power for casual riders, but they may struggle on steep inclines or rough terrain. But if you are looking for some serious power and speed, especially on challenging terrains, dual motor is your best bet. Dual motor scooters offer more power and speed, making them ideal for riders who need to tackle hills or navigate through challenging conditions. However, this increased performance comes with a higher price tag. How to maintain electric scooter motor? Although the scooter's motor is its heartbeat, there's not much you can do by yourself. It would be best to avoid humidity, because it could cause your scooter to short circuit. You should also clean your scooter regularly. However, you shouldn't do this with running water, since it could short circuit the wiring or cause rust. You should take the scooter to a professional for repairs whenever it stops working optimally. Your mechanic understands the scooter's functionalities and is better equipped to make repairs. Can you ride the scooter if the battery gets empty? Yes, you can ride your scooter without the motor, but it's quite a workout. Most scooters have a resistance due to their hub motors. Remember, your scooter's performance from speed to hill climbing abilities is all about the motor. Whether you're cruising city streets or tackling hills, the right motor makes all the difference. That's all for today's electrifying journey into scooter motors. If you found this useful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Drop your questions and thoughts in the comments below. Ride safe and stay charged. Thanks for watching. Until next time.